Hey guys, I wanted to go over some updates I added to the Catenary Spline plugin for 3ds Max. So we'll get right into it here. We'll create our spline. And for those familiar with the plugin, it generates kind of suspended looking cables from various points of other objects. But in the latest update, um, you can also add splines and control how many points along the spline it'll generate those contact points. So we'll add our spline. And you can see here we got 10 contact points right here. So maybe we'll just change that to five. And then what you can do to add some more randomization to it is you can enable the variation and you can increase, uh, if you increase the phase, you can kind of see it animated, but you can increase the frequency to make more uh, points of variation and then increase the scale. But one of the nice features is this distortion amount up here. This will automatically move the knots or contact points back and forth along that path. So as it, we increase it, you can kind of see it stepping along. If you go over 100%, you do have the possibility of getting points that go in front of or behind their neighboring points, which you might want that type of effect. It gives you some cool looks. If you want some tangled cables, you can increase your knot count and get a bunch of really cool looking draped cables. It changes to relative. Um, so yeah, that's the, the latest update. You can still add objects in here and kind of mix and match. If I go and drop a few point helpers in here, and we'll go ahead and just move those over here. And then we'll go back to our line object and we'll use the select list here. <clears throat> add the two points. And now see if you do want to control the order of these, you can uh, rearrange them over here by moving them up and down. Um, and you can see in this case, if you want it for whatever reason to start at the other end of the spline, you can select your spline, select the knot that you want to start at and hit make first. And now you'll see it starts at that end. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any feature requests or suggestions, let me know. Thanks.